Hello guys, so I am a wee bit, wee bit late on this, but this is my two month lock update and sorry if you hear the dogs. <laughs> um, I have three dogs actually, three little Maltese's and one is like half Chihuahua, half Maltese. Let me just close the door so we can hear my cat decided to come out and explore with me. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> All right. So this is my two month lock update. And I was a little bit late just because I have a lot of things going on right now that I'm dealing with. Um, I'll probably discuss it and share with you guys just because I feel like this community could kind of help out with each other. And um, there are some things that I do have questions about and might not even might, I do need help. You know, I've been doing a lot of research on my own, but forget that. I'll talk about that in a different video. Right now, this is all dedicated to my locks and just to show the progress to see where they're going right now. Um, now, the first thing I will say is, since the last video, um, I did switch up the shampoo I was using. My hair and the scalp was starting to get more itchy than normal. And I've never had that problem happen before, but I know with locks that is a tendency to come up. So I just figured I should switch up the shampoo that I was currently using just because I still wasn't sure if it was residue free, even though it was a Veda and it's a natural um, hair shampoo. Um, it just was not agreeing with my hair. And like I said, it was making it really itchy. So I needed something ASAP. I decided to go with um, this Burt's Bees um, very volumizing shampoo. It's like sulfate free, it's pomegranate scents, and it has like all of this stuff. And the ingredients don't seem too bad over here. You guys can read some of that and know any of that. I will say so far my scalp has improved tremendously since I've been using the other shampoo from Aveda. Um, no hate towards Aveda. I still love Aveda very much and I did say you know that was the only product I use. I am still using the body wash and etc. But for my locks I need to make sure I am maintaining and keeping great care of them. Okay so yeah, I went with that just because I know Burt's Bees is another natural shampoo, but what I noticed with this shampoo, as soon as I poured it on my hand, it's very light, and not only does it feel light in my hand, it feels light in my hair, and one of the things I had to get used to, and I still am, is the fact that it doesn't lather as much as, as other shampoos, and you know, that's something like I found strange at first. I was like, ah, am I putting enough shampoo? There's not enough. Uh, and I kept pouring more and more, but um, <laughs> I learned that less is more and that not all shampoos lather. So the fact that it doesn't lather is actually a good thing. You know, it does have like a little bit, but I mean, it's not like a lot compared to other shampoos. So that's just one thing I had to learn with this shampoo. And like I said, it's been agreeing with my hair. I am going to eventually order a residue free shampoo. I will get there. I just wanted something in my hand. I'm very impatient with things. So knowing that even though I love online shopping, it would have to take a while before it, it got to my house. So this was at Walmart, bought it right away off the shelf. Easy fix for myself. And you know, like I said, I'm not having any issues with it. Um, what else? So I have also been noticing with my locks that a lot of them are already forming that like nice cylinder shape and all the knots and like the hair is starting to scrunch up inside and like pull together. Not all the way yet, but like already for two months, it's just like crazy how fast it's going. So um, how am I gonna do this? I don't have my selfie stick for, and let me, let me try to figure out where I'm going to put down the camera so I don't have to hold it awkwardly. <laughs> and show you guys my locks now. Um, 
Maybe this plant. This lovely little plant will help me out. <laughs> Alright, so these are basically my locks, how they look right now. Uh, they are no longer like a couple of them below the shoulder. They're all above the shoulder finally. So a lot of shrinkage has been happening and uh, you know I don't mind. I think it's actually really adorable how short my hair looks. I've never had my hair for my entire life ever this short. So it's always been really long and curly. Okay so I'm gonna show you guys what they look like now. I've been talking way too much, blabbing way too much. I'm sure you guys are like, oh my god, just show us the locks. Alright, so here we go. Let me scoot up closer for you guys. Now, um, this is what I was talking about, where the uh, locks were starting to get that really nice cylinder shape. There are a couple hairs that are like poking out, um, but you know, that's expected. I know that it's going to pull in into the actual cylinder lock shape on its own. You know, it's just still finding its way how to fit in with the rest of the hairs. Um, now with this piece of hair, it was actually in this lock and you know, it, oops, how did it, <laughs> I guess the leaf probably fell and I didn't even notice, whatever. Um, so it was trapped in this lock and the way it was like pulling and like wanting to go in its own direction, I wasn't liking it at all and plus it was pulling on my scalp a little so I decided to like it out. Hopefully it locks up its thin piece of section of hair, but you know, hopefully it does that on its own. So we got a little baby curl now. Some more. All these cars passing by, they will probably be thinking, what is wrong with this girl? She's like chilling in the grass, talking to herself, <laughs> and is like playing with her hair weirdly. <laughs> Whatever. I really don't care. This is the big old chunk of hair that I think it was like, the hmm. leaves are killing me. Not really, dude. Just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> this is a thick piece of hair that I was saying that I think the two individual locks at one point when it first started came together and formed. Came giant wad of hair. Um, I am concerned about my very first lock that I did get. Um, I don't know if I decided on a name. I'm, I was really leaning towards either Jalapena uh, or Jalapena. Uh, just because I swear it looks like a Jalapena. Uh, the reason why I am concerned with this lock is because if you guys saw the first video or if you didn't, you're just tuning into my channel for the first time. This very um, first lock was crocheted in the salon I used to work at. The rest of my hair is natural free form. I don't touch it. I don't palm roll, don't crochet, don't back comb or anything like that. You know, they are doing their own thing. But the very first lock I did have uh, is crocheted. So even though it gave it like its advanced time to like mature faster, if you want to say that, um, and it is coming out nicely down here, all the new growth that it has had, it has had, ooh, 
That was a terrible sound. Um, right here, this is all of the root that's been growing and just growing. And it's super thin, if you guys can tell. And I'm just worried because I don't want it to get so thin to a point where down here, bloop, just falls off. Like, that'd be too sad because I really want to keep my first lock on me. You know, it's part of my journey and how I started these babies. So, yeah. Hopefully that doesn't fall off. But if you guys have any questions or any feedback for me, definitely leave some comments down below for me. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them or appreciate any criticism or anything of the sorts, you know? Um... If you guys have been noticing, I am saying locks a lot instead of dreadlocks. I am no longer saying dreadlocks. Um, I even been going into my video titles, fixing them, saying locks. And I am going to edit some of my past videos. I will explain why in a different video. You know, it deserves its own separate whole story behind why um, I'm no longer saying dreadlocks. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel, and I hope you have a beautiful day, guys. Give you guys a good little luck shake for the day. <laughs> Boom. A little busy after that. <laughs>